Hello, my name is still Captain Trina, and this is still a logical journey of the Zuminis. Um, I have taken the liberty of bringing my group to Shelter Rock already, because you've already seen these three, you've already seen what they look like on Easy. So we're going to just head straight to the chase, and go the route that we did not go before. Uh, this will be a shorter video, because I am not going to take you on the entire trip. Zumbinis must have something in common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. Alright, this is one of those challenges that if you make everyone as similar as possible is really, really easy because the only rule here is that they have to have one trait in common if the stools are touching. Well, when you create a thing where everybody has exactly the same hair or exactly the same feet, that's really easy to do. So I am actually going to have to think about this once in my life. Um, this style is going to be not hard to find a match for, but maybe harder because she is the only green nose, so that automatically rules out any sort of match we can do with that. So I'm going to put her... You want to. I don't really care. I'm sure you don't care. I'm going to put her on the end so that she only has to match with one person. Um, and we will go ahead and get her a fellow ponytail gal. Um, the only other thing I see that maybe will have a similar problem is this guy is the only one with kind of the flat topped hair. So we'll put him on this end, and he can sit next to a fellow sleepy eye. There you go, you got it. The nice thing about this particular challenge is that you have unlimited tries. Um, if he doesn't like what you're doing, he'll just flip the thing and then you get knocked off. But really, at least I'm pretty sure it's unlimited. As long... You can, so you can play around with it as much as you need to, and he'll go ahead and leave whenever you click, that, click on that. So really, if you leave anyone behind in this one, it's just because you were lazy. Um, orange nose, sunglasses, feetses, um, tell you what, I'm gonna move this guy, now for next one, purple nose. Sure. Glasses, and then everyone else will be both awake and red-eyed. There you go, you got it. Alrighty, on we go. Color, flower, and lily pad shape too may be the keys that get them through. I realized that rhymed, but the meter was completely off. Alright, we have for ourselves a lily pad maze. As the natives mentioned, each one has a different sort of shape of the lily pad. There's the little, like, moon Pac-Man shape. There's ones with two divots, three, and four. Um, there's different shapes on the leaves, and there's different colors, and we have a frog for each corresponding one. Each frog will be capable of taking two passengers, though not at the same time, so really we only need to find eight routes across this thing. Um, colors are easiest for me to spot, and right away I can see we have a nice pink path that goes do 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 across in a bit. So I'll go ahead and grab this guy and have him go. And we don't have to wait for him to hop across, which is good because he's slow. So we'll go ahead and spot the other colors. We are going to do all colors first because... Orange, 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 orange. Okay, never mind. Orange does not have the path. We're going to do all the colors we can first because if you have two frogs that run into each other, they won't... Like, you won't lose the boomity, but they will, like bounce off the frog and turn around and then go back and it just takes forever. 
mean, this level takes long enough as it is. Now, if you try to place someone on an incomplete path, then they will hop around forever, and there's... There's no way to get them off the frog, or the frog off the lily pad. They're just... they're stuck. Alright, so once these guys get across, that will be half our zoomies already. So now I'm going to check patterns. I'm noticing we have diamonds going along here. Do do do. And coming out. Well, if they really want, they could go over here, but probably coming out of here. So that starts over here. From there. Um, let's also check our X's and flowers. Wait, there's a flower path, looks like. Duke all, goes all the way across. You always want to check, because, again, over here, it looked like we had an orange path. But once you run here, then there's a blue one in the way of it being complete. And at this point, we can't move lily pads right at all. We can only work with what's already there. Um, do we have the next path? I don't think we have most of one here, but it doesn't connect to the beginning very well. No, we don't. So, our last two frogs are going to have to be lily pad shape, which is harder for me to just look at and see, but I think we have a C-shaped pad path right here. Yes, we do. Okay. And that started over here. There that guy goes. And then... Let's see. We have two, four, well, no, it narrows to one. But then we can't get any farther with that four path. Okay, so there's no four path. There might be a three path right here. Three, three, three. Three, three. Three, 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 three. Alright, it's very roundabout, but it does exist. So that's all our Zimbini's accounted for now. Um, now we'll have to wait for the frogs to finish hopping so the one guy can go back and get the last one. But other than that, we've pretty much won this, um, this challenge. Um, let's talk about what we're waiting. I mean, we could talk about Doctor Who, but that's, I think that's a topic that Tumblr has done to death. If anyone's really curious, I'm in the camp where, I don't think Moffat has ruined the show, he just, he makes things more complicated than they, he needs to. He did fantastic work during Russell Davies' era with his individual episodes and two-parters. He just, when he's given a whole season to work with, I think he tries to cram too much stuff into it. Also, David Tennant was my favorite doctor, so, you know, that's another point against him. Not his fault. He just, he didn't have Tennant. It's a liability. Well done, no wise and trusted guide. Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes if they can make the right connections. This is a little bit similar to the challenge we just had with the boat, where adjacent people need to have matching traits, but this time they specify which traits they want to match. Um, 
And not everybody, like, you can tell, right now we only have them in pairs. So it's really not too bad. Um, obviously this guy we don't want to put on our nose, since we already established that there is no other, um, green nose who can be with us. Um, then again, this guy we don't want on hair. So, I mean, you, you just start putting people together if- ow. Sorry, I pissed him on one of the red. It doesn't hurt him. And I think the same- pretty much the same thing happens if you place them on a spot that doesn't work. So this is another one where you- you can't really lose Zoominis, per se. You get unlimited tries. Here. Two hairs. And... Alright, we will have to do a little bit of shuffling. So right now I have nose nose. Oh no, I won't. I lied. Well Sweet. done, no wise and trusted guide. And now we're on our way back to the second checkpoint, the name of which just escapes me at the moment. Site ready and waiting for some beanies. And they'll need their rest. The darkest, most dangerous part of the journey is yet to come. <laughs> I'll start skipping his thing soon. I'm sorry, it's kind of entertaining the first time, but not as much later. Um, things do things if you click on them, if you were wondering. Yes. Kind of reminiscent of, um, Humongous Entertainment games, if you guys have ever played those. Anyway, I will cut, and we'll meet you in Zumbiniville, um, in case you were wondering what... Come back. In case you're wondering what building look, our new building will look like for that leg. Um, see you in a bit. Look, we made it! Yay! Hooray! Yay! And over here, we have a swimming pool! These... I mean, I know I said I like the priority about the music, but I, I do question some of their priorities. I mean, we have a store, but I don't... I don't see, like, a fire station, I don't... A public library? A school? I don't know on here. Look, it's my favorite! She's gonna go swimming? Never mind. Okay. So, here's my plan. I am going to, not in recordings, go ahead and take another trip through. And the trip after that, I will record because you'll notice that there's a difficulty thing over here. The difficulty will increase after a leg has been traveled three times. So, the route after next, this one will increase, and this one will increase. Um, I do stubbornly stick to switching back and forth in these, so those will take twice as long to upgrade. But, you know, you guys don't have to wait, I'm just the one that will do all the constant back and forth, and more people, and then people there, and all over the place. Um, I'm going to pretend that made sense. Alright, um... Thank you for watching again, and I will see you when things go from not so easy to oh so hard. Bye bye